that AC cranked. Diesel. It's a hot one, isn't it? Very nice. November, isn't it confusing? <laughs> November and we got the AC going. Must be in the south. All right. It's got the steering wheel where we want it. Okay, they're expecting us. Let's head down to Moultrie, Georgia, unload, and then we have a, a loaded trailer waiting for us in Palmetto, Georgia, and that's taking us home. So we're gonna get a good way distance, a good distance home today, yet, and hopefully we can get back uh, Sunday night or Monday morning. Here we go! All aboard! Sneak out here back onto the Interstate 75 southbound. And our delivery, uh, Moultrie, Georgia, is actually reasonably close to the border with Florida, I believe. No, I mean, it's not right next door, but it's it's close. Oh boy, how am I gonna get myself in a spot here where I can see who's coming? And this guy right here. seen it ripen it looks like it's ready to harvest some fields like the one coming up here on the left have already been harvested I'd love to see them do it like with the machines that they use because I grow cotton in my farm simulator 2019 game right and those machines look amazing there's a lot of cotton out here oh where'd you come from little buddy didn't even see you behind me Southern Georgia, the weather's great. It smells great out here. And we have another 45 minutes to our destination. I wonder where all this cotton goes. Like, I'm guessing this is obviously what they, like, what they make shirts and stuff out of, right? And clothing. Huge, massive fields. I wonder if they can grow two crops a year because they don't get winter here? All these questions. Palm trees on the left. Palm trees. Diesel, look on the left right there. What is that? Look at that tree with the funny hairdo. Dude, that's our favorite tree. Palm trees. That means we are officially... Officially in the south. In my mind, I mean, you need you gotta have some palm trees because palm trees mean that it doesn't snow, and that makes me happy, and I like being happy, especially with the way the world's going right now. I need some palm trees in my life, so thank you, Georgia, making my life better. What town is this? I don't even know what town we're in here. Uh, Sylvester is what this sign here says, <laughs> Sylvester, Georgia. Thank you for your palm trees. Exactly what we needed. There's not too many. They're sort of just sort of spread out here and there. They're obviously not native to this area. They they get brought up. But they grow here and they live, and that's all that matters. That means that they can survive the winter. I don't get to see those that often. I get excited when I see a palm tree. What? I got them tattooed on my arm. That's <laughs> how much I like them. Because to me, I've said it before, to me, a palm tree represents vacation. It represents 
uh, leisure. Hey, dude. Hey, bud. Are you just going to walk across the road? Okay, that's cool. I got you. And it, it to me, it signifies like, uh, you know, like I was telling you, vacation, time off work, beaches, good times. So that's what they fill me up with, good, good vibes. They radiate good vibes. So, they say we're unloaded. I'm just gonna go and double check for myself, make sure there's no forklifts still in here. Look at that, they have to lock up their paper towels here. <laughs> oh dear. Gonna have to get this in a good cleaning. She's pretty dirty. Peat moss always gets it real dirty. Gotta sweep that all out. See if I can get myself up here first. Oh yeah, yeah. Big mess, eh? Where they load it, if it's wet when they load it, it stays wet in here and takes a long time to dry and then it sticks to the floor sometimes. No, we can get it out. Now that we've got the peat moss out of here, those wet spots will dry up very quickly. So once you have all of the uh, dirt and stuff at the end of the trailer here, you go over there, you grab one of their garbage bins, bring it back over here, and you just push it right into the garbage bin. 
not onto the ground. A lot of drivers just toss this. Oh, well, it's just dirt, right? It's just peat moss. Still, put it in the garbage. It's that's the right thing to do. I think you know that. Unless they have these things tied down, sometimes they tie these things in place. Well, I'll just leave this here for now because we don't need that. Just pull this along with us. And just put it in there. Right about there, like that. <laughs> and what do you know, a staff member came rolling past in their little golf cart here just now and thanked me because, like I said, a lot of drivers don't do this. It's not perfect, but I mean, at least a lot better than just dumping it on the grass. The downside to being down south and in warmer weather is that the bugs live longer here, apparently. Look at them all over my windshield. Isn't that beautiful? Such a good sign. That's how you know the weather's warm enough if you don't have your windows rolled down. Got bugs on your window again. So I've got my trailer all cleaned up. It's all set up and ready for uh, where I got to drop it. It's ready for the shipper there. I just got to put it in their yard there, pick up the loaded one that's waiting for me, grab the paperwork and one kilometer, take off. Go straight on Albany Highway, US 82. Though I'd like to get my schedule set a little bit better because I'm kind of tired of, you know, driving a couple of hours and then having the sun go down on me. I'd like to start earlier and end earlier, but it's... In 600 meters, go straight on Albany Highway, US 82. Why do you even need to tell me that, Karen? Hey, in 600 meters, just don't turn, okay? Just keep doing what you're doing. Just checking. Just making sure, okay? Don't turn right at the corner, okay? Just, go, just stay going straight. Why does she do that? Like, as if I would have turned there. Imagine if she did that at every corner. Continue on this road for 103 kilometers. At least she'll be quiet for an hour now. So we're going a little bit through the, the side country, back country of Georgia. And we gotta go, uh, Palmetto is on the southwest side of Atlanta by the looks of it. And we're about two and a half hours away. So it'll definitely be completely dark by the time we get there. What town is this? What does it say on the water tower there? Sasser? S-A-S-S-E-R, Sasser. If the people here are pretty sassy, sassy sassers. What would you call yourself if you're from Sasser? I'm a sassy sassin. <laughs> oh man, I'm not funny. We've got this beautiful, nice new drop yard here now. This is nice. This is way better than what it was. We used to have a, a drop yard around here that was all dark <laughs> no lights gravel lot half of it was grass you just have to park on the grass those weird you remember that when we were there we heard those weird sounds in the bush all night i've never picked up here but i think we're moving from that yard to here and this is nice this is paved you got paved lines on the concrete here so everybody's trailer is nice neatly lined up nicely lit Fenced in, they have security at the gates here. Very nice. Great success. This is much better. They keep moving our yards around. Well, not here all the time, but every so often we get moved around, I guess. So it's hard to keep on top of where all of our drop yards are. They keep moving, but I like this one. I hope this one sticks. It's always a little sketchy. Maybe we still have the other one, I don't know. But usually I would do this drop and hook at the other yard. That's why I'm thinking we must have moved it here. I had to call my dad and ask him where this place was just to make sure I went to the right place because they gave me the address of where to do the, the, the switch. I was thinking, I've never been to this address before. What do you mean do the switch at this address? What's this all about? Did we get a new yard again? Sure enough we did. Great upgrade. Very nice. Very nice. Hashtag impressed. 
and it's much quieter here too so uh, I, I'm guessing that if I wanted to sleep here uh, I'd come here and do the switch and then sleep here it's a nice safe guarded fenced yard well lit safe I said that already right we still have like five hours five and a half hours to drive tonight yet it's getting pretty late already but do you like my Christmas shirt don't get mad at me, okay? It was on the top of the pile. I didn't pick it. I open, I open my suitcase, and the way I dress myself in the morning, if I'm not at home, and if my wife isn't dressing me, it's whatever's on top. That's what I grab, and it just happened to be a Christmas shirt. Okay? Don't get mad at me. But Christmas is coming. And since it's a big fenced-in yard, I'm gonna let the weasel run around a little bit. See, there goes the fence up there. Probably can't see it, because... I can see it on the camera on the screen now, but as soon as I upload it to YouTube, for some reason, it really makes everything a lot darker. So sorry about that, guys. A lot of my footage the last few days has been at night, and I realize how dark it gets. Better not be snakes here, man. I'm not going in the long grass. Oh, Diesel, careful. Diesel, I don't know if I like you going in the grass there. Eh. Snakes. Diesel, far enough. Come back here. Diesel, come here. I would say you're super brave, but you have no idea what could be in that grass. We're not in Manitoba anymore, man. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Be careful. There's a big hole here. You almost fell in it before. Come here. Come on. Yeah, see? Now you got to go around the hole. There you go. No, don't fall in that hole now. Why is these holes here? Come on, Daisy. Let's go this way. Come on. Come here. Let's go out in the open. Come here. Let's get out of the grass. Come on. The grass makes me nervous out here, man. All right. Here we go. There you go. See? I guess it's not as easy to do your business when uh, not allowed to go in the long grass. But my buddy Moses lives north of here in Virginia. Moses and Colleen, and they got, uh, what are those snakes called again? They're very poisonous. Oh, what does he call them? They're brown snakes, right? Anyways, he's got snakes around his house, and some of them are very poisonous. And one of them bit, uh, bit one of their dogs not too long ago. The dog's okay. I had to go to the vet and get all kinds of emergency antibiotics, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't know where the nearest vet would be. I mean, I could find it easily, but... I'd rather not, Diesel. You're already going to the vet next Monday. We don't need to add a snake bite to the list of things. He's going for an old man appointment on Monday. Check up on him. He's getting a little old. Come this way, bud. Come on, look. The grass is shorter here. See, when the grass is shorter, we can see if anything's in there. We do have snakes back in Manitoba too. We had lots of snakes at our property and probably snakes, there might be snakes at our new property, but our old one, because the, the river was going through, there's lots of garter snakes, but they're harmless. I mean, they could bite you, but they're not poisonous at all. And mostly they'll just slither away from you. They're scared of you. That wasn't bad, but what, what is that snake? I can't think of it right now. Not a rattlesnake. I'll think of it later. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? List down below. Tell me down below what, what the snake's called. Very poisonous. Uh, it's in, they live in southern Virginia, and this is further south than that, so I'm guessing there's even more poisonous critters that would want to kill me in the long grass here. That's why at home I like to mow down all the long grass. Just keep the snakes and critters away from the area I like to hang out in. I don't really have any control of that down here. Diesel, what do you think? I know if you saw a snake, you'd probably chase it. That's what I'm afraid of. You can chase it and step on it and it's gonna bite you. And then the worst is gonna happen, man. And then how do I, how do I deal with that? I'm not ready for that yet.
We meet again. The shadowy face, the shadowy figure, you just gotta trust that it's me, right? The lighting's not too good here, I know. Believe me, I know. Fire! See if we can find some parking. It's that time of day again. Everyone's already parking out here. Probably means all of these spots here are already taken. What do you guys think? I think I'll get lucky. No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so either. That's already not a parking Continue spot. on this road for 132 kilometers. Well, I figured I'd swing in and see what it looked like. It looked exactly as I had thought it would. Maybe there's some room up on the side up here where all these guys are parked. Every day it's the same thing. Every day. I guess I could park here. Yeah, I could park right in here. Hey, we found a parking spot. Just wait, Diesel, just wait. Gotta let the world know that I am stopping now. I know, you're excited. Bedtime's always exciting for me too. Wow, how lucky is that? We actually got a really good spot all off on our own, off to the side. That means no neighbors. <laughs> right, Diesel? Nice, quiet night. <laughs> you tired? Hey, how about this? How about this, okay? How about we go home after two more sleeps? Three more if you include today. Three more sleeps, and then we go home. What do you think? You ready to go home? You want to go and see... Chevy and Frankie and Wiener and how about mom you want to go see them all sorry I don't know if I was covering the mic there with my thumb or not if I was I apologize he's very excited that's all I was saying anyways you guys know the regular spiel it's the end of the vlog I hope you hit the like button leave me a comment down below let me know what you think. Give me the thumbs down if you thought it was garbage. But I hope you give me the thumbs up. That's my favorite one. I like that one better. It's up to you, though. It's your choice. I leave it in your hands. Tune in tomorrow, and don't forget to subscribe. We make a new video every day. Two more days, two more full days, and a little bit. We're gonna full day tomorrow, full day the next day, and a little bit the day after that. And then we'll be home for a while. I'm going to take some time at home. I got some stuff I need to get done. And I need... I need to watch some TV. And I need to sit on the couch in my house. And I need to spend time with the wife. My family. Go see my mom, my dad. If dad's at home. I got stuff to do, right? I've been gone a long time. I miss my home. And I miss everybody there. There, I said it. Trucker Josh is a big old softy. Now everybody knows. It's our secret, okay? It's our secret. Don't tell anybody. I'll see you tomorrow.